on YouTube. It's a little dark in here. Whoa. I don't know. I don't know how well I look now. I'm kind of like, yeah. All right, anyway, so uh, got a couple orders down here. Got a couple orders right there. There's probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, it's kind of hard to see. Maybe this is better. Throw on a light, too. Um, it's kind of early right now. It's 6.30. Not that early, but it rained last night. It rains every single day here, and that's why I can't cut the grass. It's kind of getting miserable out there. It's kind of getting miserable out there, but uh, today's a thrift store vlog. We're heading out to uh, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and I know it's a long drive. It's about 110 miles one way, and then I, I go to a couple other thrift stores on the way back, so it makes the, the trip shorter on the way back. Eventually, the last one I go to is like maybe 60 miles away, so, you know, I do pick up a bunch of stuff, but I know a lot of people have been asking for more thrift store videos, so... Let's go out there and let's go treasure hunting. Let's do it. If you're someone who enjoys shopping at thrift stores, enjoys vintage clothes, enjoys sportswear, maybe even some other brick wrap that might come along, we're going out there. We're going to a couple thrift stores, so let's do it. All right, so we're here at Community Aid. There's already a line. I didn't get Dunkin' Donuts. I ran the traffic because of rubberneckers, but uh, yeah, we're here. Uh, there's already a line. Join the line. But not much in this store. Found some other competition here, so got to hurry up and get to the other one, which is only like a mile down the road. Second thrift store today. Last one was kind of a dud. Only paid like six bucks. I got like five items of clothing. Uh, hopefully this one's a little bit better. Hopefully, you know, I think if I spend more, I, I make more. So I'm always happy to make. I'm always happy to spend more money. So hopefully we can rack up a nice bill here. Everything but white. Got a couple things in here. Let's see, uh, I got a Delaware shirt. Alpha Sigma Alpha. I think that was found at my college. The sorority and fraternity stuff sell very well when school time, so if you can pick them up, hey, you know your you know your fraternities and sororities. Generally, saying the bigger ones sell pretty well. Got a cowboy sweatshirt, so a couple. It's like a giveaway jersey, promotional giveaway.
they didn't sell me another thing for a tag, so I don't really, not really try it. I don't know how well you can see this, but this person has tint, but it's like only on half of their half of their window. That's wild. I don't think I've ever seen something like that. Last thrift store today. Here we are, Lebanon. I think that's where we are, Lebanon Valley. But uh, this one's usually pretty good. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Wow. So this place is usually pretty good to me. It's a little pricey, but they usually have high quality stuff. So we'll see if we find anything. Under Armour shirt. So like this shirt right here, where is it? This Under Armour soccer shirt. Back in the day, when Under Armour started like, let's say mid 2000s, I don't know when Under Armour came out. I feel like it came out early 2000s. This shirt used to be able to get 15, 20 bucks for it easily, but they're just so mass produced now that Under Armour, the Under Armour's kind of just, you know, died off. So I, I skipped these a lot. This is a lady shirt. It's an XL. But this is definitely a, a chick shirt with the cut. How it's cut so much into it. And the neck is very stretched out, so it's definitely a girl's or a female's. Would have been a good shirt to pick up. Coors Light. I think this is also another female shirt. Sticker on it. Puzzle. Bunch of canister sets. Bunch of candles. It's pretty interesting stuff here, like always. Not that I really can use. Apparently, another thing I noticed with these jars is that. People want these. These are a pint. Uh, they want pints or half half gallons. They don't want the quart ones that much. I'm not saying that the quart ones are undesirable. I'm just saying that you know when you're trying to resell it to someone who might be you know an antique dealer, they want the 
the smaller ones or the larger ones because they're hard to find. Everyone can find the court ones everywhere. I find the court ones everywhere. So, just loads it. So that's going to wrap up this part. Uh, let's head back to the house and we're going to check out and we'll do a little recap. So I finally made it back home. It's been a really long day. I think I got home around like 4.30. My post office actually by me was closed, so I had to go to my regular post office uh, because I was going, the post office by kind of on the way back from this place was closed. They closed at 3.30. Small town USA kind of problems. But uh, So I had to go to my regular post office, which was a little bit out of the way, and they closed at 5. So I was surprised this took that long this whole day. I actually went to seven thrift stores today. One thrift store, I did not buy anything. I think I only videotaped in three, but I went to seven total um, just because I was kind of in the mood. You know, it was like 80 degrees out. Always talking about the weather on this channel, but it was a nice day out. You know, you, you can jam to some music, enjoy the weather, uh, a little sunny out. So very, very good day for clothing. Surprised I didn't get that much on footage, but I got a bunch of random things, so let's go through it. A lot of this stuff is filler stuff. I'm telling you right now, college season's coming back around. Football season's coming back around. This stuff is going to sell very quickly. If you guys follow any sport teams, it's always good to pick up the sport teams that are doing well. But at the beginning, everyone's on an equal playing field. It's a new season for everyone, so every team generally sells well besides, like, you know, the small name markets. You know, you got Jacksonville Jaguars, you know, and other small, smaller teams. Carolina Hurricanes for hockey. You know, stuff like that. So, went to the thrift store yesterday. This sweatshirt was there. It was not half off yesterday. I went back today. It was there half off. It was originally 6 bucks. Only paid $3 for it. It's a vintage nice sweatshirt. It's not really appearing like it's a big logo, but this is pretty obnoxious, this logoing. It's uh, pretty large. So, that was cool. Penn State University sweatshirt. This is a pro weave. This is a pro weave. It's not a reverse weave, but it's a similar quality champion reverse weave sweatshirt. It's very hot. Very good sellers, Pro Weave. It's their competitor brand. Dolphins, Flyers, it's the Legends of Hidden Temple. I've had this shirt three times. I've sold it always three times. I've sold all three shirts for ten bucks a piece. Always good to pick up this shirt. Dollar fifty. Pittsburgh Panthers, Alpha, Alpha Sigma Alpha, Westchester, Delaware, Cowboys football sweatshirt. Syracuse University t-shirt. Sold a lot of Syracuse stuff this summer, so I, I decided to pick this up. Boston Red Sox. Fuck now. Price is right. I've had this shirt in the color of white, and it's sold every single time. I've had a lot of people ask me, hey, can you make five or six? I don't make these. these this is just how I buy them. I buy them from a store like that. So they are a hot commodity. They're really cool with all this game show. T-shirts are always good to, to pick up. So I picked up this one. It was only 50 cents, so you can't beat that. Millersville University, Lafayette College, Wichita State, Georgia, Arizona State. Nice vintage Reebok sweatshirt. It doesn't have the tag, no size, but I think it's a medium or a large. Kutztown University, nice Mickey Mouse t-shirt. Colorado State University, nice vintage Hard Rock Cafe. Alabama, Miami, Yale. Yale is probably one of my hottest schools aside from Harvard. For some reason, the Ivy League schools sell very well. Penn, like I've said in a previous video, Penn sold very well. I sold Penn shirt this year. I meant this week. Maryland, old vintage Pittsburgh Steelers, Towson. Nice Jeff Gordon vintage. I think it's from 98. Yeah, 98. Another Syracuse and a Stanford. So that's for like the main clothes. A lot of them are filler stuff. A lot of people ask me what I get for them. I sell most of the stuff on Etsy. Um, I get about eight to fifteen dollars for a T-shirt. All this college stuff, I'll probably get around ten or twelve. Uh, the sweatshirts, I get anywhere from twelve to fifteen. So when you pick them up for fifty cents or a dollar or two dollars, and you sell stuff for fifteen bucks, you know you can pick up thirty or forty articles of clothing. Sell maybe two thirds of it within a couple months. You know, it's definitely worth it in my mind. It's definitely worth it in my mind. It pays for the day. Um, as long as you can source and you have places to store this stuff, it, it definitely pays off in the end. Uh, nice vintage starter. No, it's not starter. Nice vintage snapback hat for Chicago White Sox. Picked up four Nintendo games. I don't come across Nintendo games like ever. Um, this was all that they had. 
And the surprising thing about it was they were 49 cents each. No price tag. It was in their section of VHSs. I asked the lady, this is not the same store that I bought the, the Sega Genesis games. This is a different store, but I asked her what she, you know, what were the prices on them, and she's like, well, I'll give you the same price of VHS, which was the same thing that happened at the other store. 49 cents each. They're not great games, but anytime I could pick up an original Nintendo game, 49 cents or under a dollar, I picked them up. So you got World Class Track Meet. Baseball Stars is a Japanese game, I think. It's pretty common. Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt. Got some gook on it right there. And Excite Bike. This was one of my favorite games growing up. I don't know why, but it was just so much fun to play. Everyone remembers the ramps. The big ramps. I don't know why I remember that. And going over them really fast. I don't know. But yeah, that was a fun game. And these other games are pretty fun. I don't... I think this was... Yeah, this was the one with the power pad. That never really worked. So... Um, I saved this for a person at the flea market. I get a lot of people ask me about video games. Generally, I save it for one guy in the morning. Um, he's hooked me up with, with other items in the past and has told me about other sellers selling stuff that I buy, like hats and baseball gloves and stuff and whatnot. So he helps me out. I try to pick this stuff up for try to pick this stuff up for him. You know, obviously, I'm not buying some $100 game for three bucks, but you know, if you find these at the flea market for three bucks, it's still a great deal. Um, so I'm going to save that probably for him. This, 49 cents, can't beat the price. Insulator, it's a bluish one. Brookfield, pretty common. New York, I don't think it's chipped on the bottom. I don't think I have any New York insulators, but 49 cents, I try to pick these up whenever I can if they're under a buck because I sell them for a buck. I sell them for a dollar or three dollars. Uh, they go pretty quickly, and I get a lot of people ask me about them. So if I can pick them up for that kind of price, definitely do. This is, let me sort of show the better side. This was 49 cents also. It's a Pyrex cup. I think it's a fairly new one. Number 17. They're not worth that much, but it's always nice to find Pyrex. And I give it to my Pyrex friend whenever I can because I know she's a collector. So anything that's unusual or cheap, I try to pick up. <laughs> this. I think it's Hazel Atlas. It has no name on the bottom. This is 49 cents for four of them. I uh, kind of had that glass bake look to them. It's a milk glass style. I wasn't sure if it was Hazel Atlas or Pyrex unmarked. I don't think it's Fire King. Could be Fire King. Um, but four of these for 49 cents, I mean, not really my question. If not, if she doesn't want it, I'll bring in a flea mark. I can get dollar two dollars a piece for these. Uh, these are nice vintage ones, so keep that and I had a huge conversation with the lady there about this piece I believe this is a crock a crock that's a pot not a crock pot great I just got dirt all over this stuff uh, oh so I got dirt all over my shirt oh well um, this is only a dollar ninety nine we can't beat the price you know this is definitely an, an older one I'm pretty certain it's in good shape, it is cracked, but it's a nice one. Uh, it's not something you can find at Home Depot. It's a nice piece. Probably ask five bucks, maybe 10 bucks for it. The flea market, might keep it for myself. I had a huge conversation with the lady there and she was a big, I wouldn't say pot dealer or pot fan, but she loves her pots. Um, she was talking about how she used to get oriental ones and she used to keep all the ones from a thrift store and I was like, oh, I don't know if you should be really telling me this, but um, they get a lot of pots in there and she keeps the cool ones apparently. So she asked me about that. I said, you know what, hey, look, you know, I know it's two bucks. It's cracked and everything. This is after I paid for it. You know, I was like, yeah, it's a nice one. It's not like a one you get at Home Depot and she's like, yeah, I just, you know, I don't know about it. Like, you're saying it's a crock? What's a crock? I was like, I don't think it's a crock. I think it's a pot, but... It is cracked. And she's like, wait, it's cracked? And she looked at it and she's like, wow, if you would have told me that, I would have gave it to you for 49 cents. I was like, it's it's all right. I can afford another dollar fifty for the, the pot or the crock. So um, it might be a pot, might be a crock. Who knows? Enough talk with that. That was kind of cool. It was always neat to pick up older pieces, I think. Uh, I picked up a couple other things. The Nintendo games, that was cool. The Pyrex, Insulator, the unknown Pyrex. I don't know if it's Fire King or whatever it is, but... Uh, very happy about that. Um, if you're stopping in for the first time and you like these reselling videos, 
Make sure to check out my other videos. Check out the thrift store videos. Check out the flea market videos. Hopefully it gives you some ideas to what to look for in the future. And as always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.